president is now on his way to Vietnam. I guess the bone spurs finally healed up and he's good to go. <laughs> he's on Air Force One. Kim Jong-un, meanwhile, is traveling by train to Vietnam. On Saturday, an armored train carrying Kim Jong-un left Pyongyang at 5 p.m. local time. It'll travel 2,800 miles to Vietnam. Sounds like the beginning of a math word problem. And, <laughs> but this is his train. This is the little engine that could. And he's... 2,800 miles by rail is a long way. That's a long journey for Kim Jong-un, and an even longer journey for the prisoners who have to carry his train while he's in it. <laughs> That's how they do it. They don't have coal. It's unclear why he's taking a train and not a plane. Some believe he's doing it to spare himself the embarrassment of having to ask for the seatbelt extender. But <laughs> I tell you, nothing says excited to meet with Trump like going 2,800 miles on the slowest possible form of transportation. <laughs> And, of course, no one appreciates the way Donald Trump has handled North Korea more than Donald Janice Trump himself. <laughs> We've had a great relationship. Uh, the Singapore was a tremendous success. Only the fake news likes to portray it otherwise. We would have gone... We would have been... We would have literally been in a war with North Korea, in my opinion, had I not been elected. OK, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, thank you for... <laughs> for achieving what had only been achieved previously by Dennis Rodman. Thank you, President. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.